on episode four of Journey in Through My Childhood, I am sharing my recipe for one of my favorite childhood meal here. It's um, bygone choker or melon jam. It's, it's known as eggplant. That's the name that you call it here in the US. So in Trinidad we say bygone, we say melon jam, but it's eggplant. Eggplant choker. So look at that. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back. If you haven't been here before, please like and subscribe and share my video. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for subscribing and coming back to see another video. So in this episode of Journeying Through My Childhood, I am going to be doing a bygone choker. This is also known as um, melon gen in Trinidad or um, eggplant, right? This is an eggplant. So I'm going to roast this and make a choker. So to do, before I do the choker, these are all the ingredients. I have a hot pepper. I think I might want more pepper, but I want to see how hot it is. I have some garlic here. I put a lot of garlic because I love garlic. But this is, you know, you can put as many or as... Um, as many as you want or less right um, I have some onions here that's gonna be going into the choker also very simple um, recipe simple ingredients so I'm just making little slits in the bygone or melon gen so that I can put the garlic cloves in there so this is gonna roast in the um, melon gen when I roast in it As you see, I have a lot of garlic cloves, so I have to put enough cloves in there to get all of them in. So we're just stuffing in the garlic cloves inside of the melon gel. And the spaces that are cut, you're going to just stuff them in there. So you see, I'm just taking it and sticking it in there. So you don't have to use so many garlic. I just love garlic. Onion and garlic is like two of my favorite aromatic. So let's stuff in it. It's time to roast the bacon. I'm just putting it on my stove top here. So what you're trying to achieve with this, you want to get this all nice and charred on the outside. But what is the main thing that's going to happen? This is going to start to kind of collapse. Like it's going to start to get kind of soft and soggy. And that's when you know it's fully roasted. See right now it's nice and firm. Once I start roasting, it's going to start, you know, getting kind of limp. We're going to roast one side and then I'm going to flip it over. So I'm going to flip it over. I'll let it roast on this side. So I'm also roasting this pepper. Also. So you see how the bag and started getting soft and that's how you want it that's what you shoot them for you want it to be soft and nice and roasted like this so this is pretty much done I'm gonna remove it off of this rack I'm um, gonna let the pepper finish roasting and then we're gonna cut this open and I'll show you the next step. So I'm cutting straight down the middle. 
and then I'm just going to scrape out the inside you want to do this carefully because you don't want any of that outer skin the black part to get into your choker so you're gonna take a spoon and just carefully scrape it out if you get any of here you can just pick it out I just don't like it in there it's not a big deal but I don't want the dark skin in there I have my bygone in here. I have uh, the hot pepper that I had roasted. It's also in here. As you say, one bygone comes down to this amount. So I'm trying to kind of crush up the garlic, the whole roasted cloves of garlic. I'm just making it nice and smooth. I have enough pepper. So, I, as you can see, I got out all of that charred skin from in there. So, right now I'm going to throw in some onions. So as you can see here, I have my oil heating up. That's some vegetable oil. I'm gonna pour this oil in there and this is all the So at this point you're gonna taste and see what it tastes like. Guys, when I tell you, in here it smells so good. This is my finished choker. It is so delicious. I can't wait to eat this. I made some sada roti with it. So this is my plate. And I'm going to taste it. And I'm going to let you guys know for real, for real, how this tasted. This is so good. And oh my God. Hey guys, so I'm going to dig into this bygone choker. And you guys will see. I'll let you know how it tastes. I like it spicy. So I put one pepper. And that was enough. Because it was just one bygone. So I am just so excited about this because this is one of my favorite 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 childhood meals really good and it's nice and spicy i have the onions it's just so similar to the um tomato choker the same ingredients just the bayon is different really good and you see roast in it give it such a nice smoky flavor I like when I go to like roti shops and stuff and they have bygone chokers that's just my I love when they have chokers for breakfast And this is totally vegan, so if you're vegan, you don't need meat, eggplant, this is the number one go to. Mm -hmm. 
this is supposed to be delicious. It's just a very memorable dish. Um, I'll be honest. This is my first time making this in something in the states. I ate it from a lot of different people, like you know, if I go to restaurants or from people who made it. But I haven't made this in a long time. But since I'm journeying through my childhood, I said, let me make one of my favorites. But it's just so good. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like a lot of pepper, you can add some pepper sauce. This is good enough for me because it's almost bedtime. I don't want to have hard beans. <laughs> so, I will do it all too much pepper. Now, my uncle used to hold this whole you see the raw pepper. I just bite it while he eats them. You guys like my shirt? I have a whole bunch of like Trinidadian gay, Caribbean gay. This is not one of the Caribbean gay. I have a lot of the Caribbean gay on Etsy. I'll leave my link in the description. If you guys are interested. Bye.